there's a time when you start talking and you stop doing. And I'm telling you that you are confusing love um, here because it, it, it's not love to cripple Todd. Stop, Mom, please. Sorry. It feels like please a disease stop. to me. And so I feel like, just like if it was cancer, I want to help. But I, I, I know I'm, I'm loving him to death. That's what they said to al and They know that. It's so hard to find that line to know when I'm detaching but still loving him. Yeah, and you understand you're doing all that to make yourself feel better, right? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yes. You're yes. doing it to make yourself feel I better. I feel like I'm a better mother. Yes. It's the same thing my mom went through with me, but she had to go to Al-Anon. She had to go listen to the professionals and learn exactly what enabling was and all the different ways she was enabling that, me that she never thought she was. And it, I mean, tell her some of the ways. Well, first of all, Shirley, this will be the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> You cannot help Todd at all. You can only cripple and kill him. And it is time you stop listening to him because he is a master manipulator and he lies to you consistently. I know. And if you don't change, he will die. <laughs> and I promise you that. If she didn't change, I'd be dead. But I know that. I understand. And I, I fought as hard as he did, you know. I, I fought and I relapsed and got fell down, but I, you know, I figured out how to get back up. And luckily, Dr. Phil didn't give up on me. My parents learned what they needed to do, and I'm here today helping you guys. 